Okay, uh, today, welcome back everybody. We're gonna be testing, uh, just got four water jugs. I'm just gonna do a really basic water jug test on 110 grain, 357 Magnum, white box Winchester round. Uh, it's a semi-jacketed soft point bullet. I'm gonna fire it into four water jugs. Uh, Travis, do you have a prediction on what's gonna happen here? Um, I think, prediction, I think it's gonna bust through all four of them, personally. It's gonna blow through all four? Yeah. Uh, okay. There's really no telling until you do it though, you know? Okay, that's right. All right, well, uh, let's back up. I'm gonna do this from, uh, I'm gonna do this from a measured distance. This is not exactly scientific. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna do it from about uh, 10 or 12 feet. Let's, let's call this 12 feet. Uh, <clears throat> and we'll just see what happens. Okay, let's go look at that trap. Okay, we obviously got uh, a nice explosion on the first one. Are you looking at this? You got uh, that going? Okay, we've got some fragmentation. As you can see, that's a lead fragment from the 110 grain round. Uh, don't get too close, you won't be able to see it. Uh, we've made it into the second jug. and it did not penetrate the third. So our bullet is not in this jug. Uh, there's another fragment right there. Uh, in fact, it might be in that jug. No, it is not. Our bullet is not in the third jug. Uh, so what happened, folks? I'll do some uh, I'll do some looking around, but I think what happened was it went in the first jug. It, it mushroomed violently. It started to fragment. Went into the second jug, fragmented some more, and then it took a right or a left here. Uh, just not certain. That's the entry hole, and there's the exit. I can see where it pinched. The back side of one of these jugs right there but that jug was not penetrated that bullet should be laying right here somewhere okay so we'll look for the bullet okay so we went through we couldn't find the bullet it penetrated two jugs uh, fragmented and and it took a, it took a right off of where the targets were sitting and we did not did not locate the bullet, but uh, it's a massive devastation there. Um, the other day, I got to thinking about the penetration of the 110 grain, and I uh, had some little stainless screws, and I took a little stainless screw and inserted it into the lead tip. Uh, it's still smaller than the diameter, the overall diameter of the bullet, and I'm just gonna, just for giggles, shoot this improvised load through these three and see if it makes it all the way through uh, this weighs, uh, I did weigh this round, uh, this, this round weighs eight more grains than it did without the screw. So this is essentially a 118 grain load, uh, three, improvised 357 Magnum is what this is. Uh, and here it goes from the same distance. Those loads, those magnums are some screamers, folks. Uh, we, we went all the way through. We went all the way through all of them. Uh, that penetration was much better. I'm not gonna recover a bullet there. Uh, so that little screw in the end of it made the penetration much better. We still got excellent expansion and devastation. I don't see any fragments. Uh, that might be a nice little improvised load. It's very cheap. Those little screws, you just 
take a screw about that long, cut it off, screw it right in there, and you can see it passed right through uh, all three milk jugs with no recovery and no fragments in there at all. So it's not scientific in any way, it's just an uh, interesting experiment.